Hey, it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at Mikey Stadium after the Black Knights Friday practice. Uh, uh, they had uh, finished up a little bit early today, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the season and some of the returning players that uh, really it's uh, a pretty full starting lineup for West Point going into the season, mostly juniors and seniors, except for the defensive backfield, I, w I would say, offhand. Uh, a full platoon, uh, you might say, of freshmen uh, that um, are joining the team for practice, and uh, there may be a couple of talented players there to fill in in certain spots, but when you look at the team overall, the offensive line, uh, really all carryovers from uh, players from last year, uh, the quarterback, the uh, the backfield. So let's just go through some of the players um, that you can count on seeing playing a lot for West Point this year, uh, which should be a very interesting season uh, for uh, Black Knights. I got to start by saying, you know, we were watching uh, the ESPN College Football Show last night, and an Army opponent was ranked second in the country. Yeah, Ohio State, the Buckeyes, that uh, Army will be out to uh, play uh, third week of September, third game of the year. Number two, Urban Meyer's team. Uh, there'll be 100,000 people out at the, uh, the Horseshoe in uh, Columbus looking forward to being there. And uh, so it's going to be quite a challenge. But as some people put on, um, on our Facebook page, West Point Football Report today, you know, it's another chance to excel. So just going over the offense for, uh, for a moment, uh, you know, led uh, first by the wide receivers, uh, Christian Poe. Uh, the junior from Arizona, and uh, Jeff Ejekum, uh, uh back uh, uh, gives Army, uh, uh, you know, a chance for uh, a passing game. Uh, although a lot of being a wide receiver at West Point is about blocking, but it's, it's uh, being able to create a deep threat uh, that, uh, that Ahmad Bradshaw, the quarterback, can go to periodically when he sees an open to keep the defense from cheating up either cover the middle or the outside. You want to be able to send uh, a receiver deep uh, to uh, keep the defense honest about the, uh, the deep passing game. Looking at the offensive line, some of the key uh, starters uh, uh, filling in in key spots, Rick Kurtz, uh, junior at left tackle, Josh Boylan, the senior at left guard, Bryce Holland, the senior, it's hard to imagine Bryce is a senior. Uh, I remember doing an interview with him when he was a freshman and seeing how mature he seemed. Uh, he's had to come back from some injuries, but he played just terrific virtually every down last year. i got to find out if he, you know, if he did miss any time last year. Uh, Bryce from, uh, 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 from the Texas area. Uh, and Mike Houghton at right guard, Brett Toth at right uh, tackle, both seniors. So... Offensive line looks like it uh, on paper, starting with four seniors and a junior, all with extensive playing time from last year when Army was one of the uh, top running teams in college football. Uh, the quarterback, Ahmad Bradshaw, what, what can we say? He just did a phenomenal job last year uh, and the win against Navy. I was describing to someone that, uh, you know, we got the ball back in the fourth quarter. About uh, eight, nine minutes to go, realizing if they had a problem on that drive, they would probably not get the ball back. But he marched the Black Knights down the field, and uh, when it got down to, I think it was a nine-yard line, he did, his number was called. He just ran that ball into the end zone for a touchdown that will be talked about for as long as people are around who uh, uh, were at that game. And, of course, then he did the same thing in, uh, in the bowl game win over North Texas. Uh, uh, leading the team in the overtime drive. Uh, I always remember I was just standing on the five-yard line taking video when Jordan Asbury just uh, took the pitch and ran right into the end zone. And uh, what a moment that was for Army football. After a lot of lean years, really a very good, exciting uh, uh, season last season. So as Coach Munkin said, that's last year. This is this year. Nobody's going to care. Uh, when uh, Army goes out this year, what they did last year. So it's all about uh, building and, uh, and playing uh, top-notch football uh, in 2017. A lot of running backs, uh, certainly Andy Davidson, the senior now, who was uh, converted from linebacker last year so successful, successfully. And Darnell Wolfock, who got a lot of playing time last year and did a terrific job his first year uh, 
with the Black Knights, and we know he'll be uh, uh, counted on. So we know Coach Munkin likes to rotate his backs, so uh, you want to have four or five backs that can go in. Jordan Asbury, we mentioned a back with uh, Malik Magoo, the former quarterback, as a backup there. Kel Walker, we know, is going to play. And John Trainer, the senior, has really had some uh, good moments for West Point, and we know he's going to contribute. So we know everybody in the, def- the offensive backfield is going to play, and uh, uh, I, we have to talk to the coach about if uh, they plan to uh, do what they did last year, give the backup quarter, la- quarterback last year is Chris Carter, playing time in the second quarter to keep keep them keep uh, keep them ready to, to go in if need be later in the game um, and keep his development moving forward.